what's going on y'all logical faith here and like what happens with me sometimes this incident here that you're looking at pops into my head because you hear about russia all day trump russia collusion and russia so dangerous you hear this so much that i can't help but think about this moment right here in what was it 2012 when uh, Barack Obama and Mitt Romney were running against each other for pres for the presidency. And oh, oh, <laughs> just listen to what Obama says about Russia. Truth be told, the media should be blaming him for all of the issues that they claim that we have with Russia. They should be blaming Obama. Now watch this interaction. Governor Romney, I'm glad that you recognize that Al-Qaeda is a threat, because a few months ago, when you were asked what's the biggest geopolitical threat facing America, you said Russia. Not Al-Qaeda, you said Russia. In the 1980s are now calling to ask for their foreign policy back, because you know, the Cold War has been over for 20 years. But, Governor, you know, when it comes to our foreign policy, you seem to want to import the foreign policies of the 1980s just like the social policies of the 1950s and the economic policies in the 1920s. You say that you're not interested in duplicating what happened in Iraq, but just a few weeks ago you said you think we should have more troops in Iraq right now. And the, the, the challenge we have, I know you haven't been in a position to, to actually execute foreign policy, but every time you've offered an opinion, you've been wrong. You said we should have gone into Iraq, despite the fact that there were no weapons of mass destruction. You said that we should still have troops in Iraq to this day. You know what? I'm going to stop it here because <clears throat> this video is only about that, what he said in the beginning. I'm going to actually play it back for you again. Um, watch what, look at Barack Obama's attitude towards uh -huh. Russia. And the fact that Mitt Romney brought this up in 2012 or 2011 um, just shows that any so-called problems that we have with Russia today could have been solved back then had they been taken seriously by the Obama administration, but they were not. And this, I'm just going to play this again for you so you can hear it for yourself. Governor Romney, I'm glad that you recognize that Al-Qaeda is a threat, because a few months ago when you were asked what's the biggest geopolitical threat facing America, you said Russia. Not Al-Qaeda, you said Russia. In the 1980s are now calling to ask for their foreign policy back because you know, the Cold War has been over for 20 years. But, Governor, you know, when it comes to our foreign policy, you see... So, there, we, there you have it right there. There's really nothing else to say. Um, the, the clip speaks for itself, and like everything else, the mainstream media ignores it. And as much as they propagate this whole Russia thing, this whole Russia crisis so to speak, you don't see anyone pointing a finger back at this man. If it is really as serious as they say, then logically you have to look at the man who not only was in charge when all of it happened, but also laughed at the idea of taking Russia seriously. To add to the previous video, Barack Obama was caught on a hot mic uh, whispering to outgoing Russian President Medvedev that he'll have more he'll have more room to negotiate uh, with Russia regarding the missile defense negotiations um, after his election. Now it was not supposed to, it was wasn't intended to be heard, but it was caught because he was his mic was still on. And where where was the media to talk about collusion? Where was the media to talk about being? Uh, too soft on Russia and Russia is going to take over and all this all the things that they say is they say about Trump Can you imagine what would happen if this clip right here was actually Donald Trump and not Obama? Obama was far from Washington today in South Korea for a summit with world leaders on nuclear security But he couldn't escape presidential politics not after a live microphone Picked up a comment that he made to the Russian president senior White House correspondent Bill Plant is traveling with the president in Seoul tonight Bill 
Scott, President Obama and outgoing Russian President Medvedev were still deep in conversation as cameras were ushered into the room. And President Obama was overheard giving Medvedev a very candid political assessment of his ability to deal with the major problems between the U.S. and Russia. All of the issues can be solved, the president told Medvedev, but he stressed that it was particularly important for incoming Russian President Vladimir Putin to give him space on the missile defense system which the U.S. and NATO want to install in Europe. This is my last lecture, please. Yes, and this after my lecture, I have more flexibility. Republican presidential contender Mitt Romney said the overheard remark signaled that the president plans to cave to Russia on missile defense. That is an alarming and troubling development. This is no time for our president to be pulling his punches with the American people. White House officials... So, there you have it. It's pretty clear. He blatantly was saying that he can't do or say what he really wants to do or say because he's running for office, because he's trying to be reelected. But once he gets reelected, he's going to flip the switch and do something totally different. Where's the mainstream media? There was nobody, as far as I know, there was no one talking about how Obama wasn't Russian operative or anything like that. But <laughs> you have evidence of it right here of him expressed, blatantly expressing an intention to miss lead the American people and to do something different than what he's already promised to do. You, ha you haven't seen that with Trump at all, but the media will attack Trump and they'll conveniently ignore this. Now, considering the past two clips that I just showed you and Obama's lack of alarm with dealing with Russia and considering the fact that the whole so-called Russia collusion involving Donald Trump happened under Obama's administration. It makes logical sense to hold him responsible, or at least partly responsible, for the so-called Trump collusion crisis that we have today. Not only that, if Trump, not only do we have Obama not taking Russia seriously, being apparently willing to cave to Russia, um, we also have Obama saying himself that elections can't be corrupted. Elections can't be uh, tampered with. Now, this last clip that I want to show you was before Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton actually had their election and after Donald Trump was nominated. If you watch the debates in, uh, between Hillary Clinton and Trump, um, you might recall that Donald Trump, being his narcissistic self, said if he loses it's because the democrats cheated <laughs> he actually said that you know and the democrats ridiculed him for it hillary clinton ridiculed him for it and um uh, barack obama here will ridicule him for it and obama himself will say that you can't interfere like the elections can't be interfered with so if russia did interfere in our elections Mind you, this is the same guy that said that, hey, the Cold War is over. We shouldn't be taking Russia seriously as geopolitical enemies. He's also the same one that said, hey, you know, that tried to secretly tell uh, Medvedev, hey, when Putin comes into office, we can work this out. Like, I'll have more flexibility, more power to do something different than what I'm doing now once I get it elected. And now with this third clip, you're going to see him basically say that you can't interfere with the election. It, the election was designed the way it was for a reason. Uh, repeatedly now, uh, Donald Trump has said that this election will be rigged against him. Can you promise the American people that, that this election will be conducted in a fair way? It, it is... Uh, I, I don't even really know where to start on answering this question. Uh, of course the elections will not be rigged. What does that mean? <laughs> The federal government doesn't run the election process. States and cities and communities all across the country, they're the ones who set up the voting systems and the voting booths. And uh, if Mr. Trump is suggesting that there is a conspiracy theory that is uh, being propagated, 
uh, across the country, including in places like Texas, uh, uh, where typically it's not Democrats who are in charge of uh, voting booths. Um, that's ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense, and I don't think anybody would take that seriously. But this will be an election like every other election. And, you know, I, I'm, uh, I think all of us at some points in our lives have played sports or maybe just played in a, in a schoolyard or a sandbox. And sometimes folks, if they lose, they start complaining that they got cheated. Uh, but I've never heard of somebody complaining about being cheated before the game was over. So there you have it, folks. And...